Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science. Our top story is from the world of medicine. Researchers from the University of Western Ontario have been approved by the American FDA to begin human trials for their experimental HIV vaccine. Now don't get too excited, as they'll only be doing a phase one trial starting January to prove the vaccine is safe. This will involve injecting the vaccine into 40 HIV positive subjects to see if it causes any adverse effects. It should be noted that other vaccines have shown promise even beyond phase one trials, but ended up failing. The reason a vaccine is so difficult to develop is because the virus is very complex and mutates quickly. Not only would it need to protect against seven major strains, but would need to prevent the virus from integrating its genetics into human cells. However, the researchers are confident in their vaccine as it uses a whole virus, albeit one that's engineered to be non-infectious and then killed with radiation and chemicals. And from the world of evolution, a study by Queen's University and the Argentine Museum of Natural History is studying the potential speciation of songbirds. This might not sound like a big deal, but it's only now we can fully understand the mechanism and stages involved in speciation. The birds they are studying are currently one species, but distinct groups are emerging with differences in appearance and mating calls. Now those working on the study are attempting to find the genetic basis for these differences, allowing for new insight into evolution and the potential to track a speciation event on a molecular level. Finally, we turn to the field of neuroscience. A team based at Massachusetts General Hospital have found a treatment that slows down Huntington's disease in a mouse model. Huntington's disease is caused by a mutation in the Huntington protein gene. The abnormal proteins eventually accumulate in neurons, causing brain damage. The treatment they were testing involved an important regulatory enzyme called SIRT1, which is involved with many functions such as energy, metabolism, and inflammation. Recent research suggested it could have neuroprotective effects, so they first knocked out the gene for SIRT1. This gene knockout accelerated the progression of the disease, resulting in more brain damage. However, as suspected, the mice engineered to overexpress SIRT1 lived longer than the unaltered mice. This gives researchers a target in developing a treatment to slow or stop neurodegenerative diseases. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.